Should women stop hormone therapy after 65? You might be surprised the answer isn't always yes. A huge study looked at over 10 million US senior women on Medicare and followed them for 14 years. It asked what happens if women keep taking hormone therapy beyond 65? The results challenge what many of us have been told. Estrogen alone without progesterone actually lowered the risk of dying by about 19%. It also cut the risk of breast cancer by 16% and lung cancer by 13%. Colorectal cancer was reduced by 12%, heart attacks by 11%, and even dementia by 2%. Pretty powerful numbers for something that's often discouraged after 65. But it's not the same story when estrogen is combined with progesterone or synthetic progestins. That combination raised breast cancer risk by about 10 to 19 percent. Still, when given at low doses through the skin, meaning transdermally or vaginally, those risks dropped. In fact, estrogen plus progestin reduced endometrial cancer by 45 percent and ovarian cancer by 21 percent. So what matters is how you take it. Vaginal and transdermal estrogen are safer than oral pills and lower doses worked better than higher ones. So what's the takeaway? Hormone therapy after 65 isn't automatically dangerous, but it's not a one size fits all. The type, dose, and route really matter. If you're considering continuing hormone therapy, talk to your doctor about tailoring it to your health history, your symptoms, and the risks, because the right approach can mean better quality of life and even longer life well past 65.